Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we have another Black Series figure from The Clone Wars. We're finally getting Ark Trooper 5s. I'm really, really thrilled with this release. Finally home with his brother, Echo, which came out as part of a sort of exclusive Clone Wars wave. Um, although apparently that one and Ahsoka are slated for a re-release. That's the whispers I'm hearing anyway. Um, so we'll see whether that comes to fruition. I know a lot of people missed out on Echo. Um, who were very short-lived, especially here in Australia. There weren't many around. Uh, got snatched up pretty quickly. But here we have Fives. You know, probably one of the most important clones in the clone army in terms of uh, his fateful demise. Um, which, you know, we, we sort of saw uh, Fives and Echo go all the way through their careers as clone troopers all the way up to when we first presumed... The Echo had perished in the Citadel, and then Fives, uh, not so much defecting, but trying to prove um, the clone's innocence um, and, you know, the true conspiracy behind the clones. So he has on the back here, well, for starters, number 16 in the Clone Wars, says, Fives trained with Domino Squad on Kamino before being stationed on the Rishi Moon outpost. While on Kamino for medical testing, he discovered a terrifying secret about the clone's origins. So yeah, one of the one of the greatest story arcs from the Clone Wars, in my opinion. Really, really love that. Awesome artwork there on the side of Fives. And uh, yeah, here on the front, on the side, looks nice. So let's get the packaging out of the way and take a look at the figure because it's uh, it's a good one. I, I, I do love the art troopers. So I do have Echo right here as well. So finally Echo and Fives together again. Love it. So yeah, we're here to look at Fives today. So that's what we're going to do. Now he does come with just his blaster pistols. Um, which is fine. That's cool. That's pretty much what he used. They do have working holsters there, which is nice. Again, they've only given him one trigger finger, so what I've had to do is I've had to get an X-Acto knife, um, one of these small blades. I do have a little little container with them. And just put a very... Let's see if I can show you here. If I zoom up on the hand. Possibly not. That's okay. You can kind of see... I did just sort of put a slice in between those two fingers, so when the, the blaster is put in his hand, um, it allows for that finger to slide in the trigger finger. So I've pretty much done that with any clones that are going to be using two pistols. I think Rex I had to do it with. Um, Jesse most recently I've had to do it with. He's, uh, he's right here too. Yeah, I had to do the same. You can kind of see it there. Um, yeah, loving the difference in appearance. You know, some slight differences between the two. As you can see from the legs. He's got this sort of blue, a bit more blue wrapped around the legs. Different colour on the Karma. Obviously different on the chest, different helmets. But yeah, love, love these two ARC Troopers together. We'll get a look at his helmet here. Nice and close. So a classic Arc Trooper shape with the fin, which is where they sort of screwed up with Jesse, but I did fix mine. Did do a little bit of a, a rundown in the in the video on how I did that, on my review of that figure. But I do love the uh, the symbolised of the, uh, the Rishi eel that they did face on the Rishi outpost. So that's cool that he sort of donned that on his armour. Yeah, just love the 501st. I mean, who doesn't? It's so good. The range finder does move. But yeah, nice details. Nicely painted, nicely applied, really clean. We'll get a look at Five's fantastic head sculpt. Just need to bring the camera up a fraction here. Excuse that. There we go. Check him out. So he got, got his sort of trademark 
Well, it's not really a trademark. I, I suppose a lot of clones have the goatee, but five especially. It does have the numeral five. Obviously, his clone trooper number is 5555. That's really nice. Loving, to, loving seeing these sort of unique, unique representations of you know live-action clones based on Tim Morrison. Slight variations of each other. These are just three I have on hand at the minute, but um, yeah, no, I love what they're doing here. It's it's great. They have the squad together. Um, yeah, definitely looking at picking up some of those AliExpress troopers <laughs> that people are getting to build up the 501st. They've done a they've done a few cool ones already, so definitely looking at getting getting a hold of those very very soon, hopefully. So yeah, got all the good articulation. Does have the ball joint in the the lower neck and in the head there. So that's good. Does have the good joints in the arms. And the sort of shoulders, shoulder bells will sort of swing back. There are other butterfly joints in there as well, but are sort of limited by the, the, the armor. But yeah, you can sort of pretty much get them full forward. A little bit of a bend there, but that's okay. That's fine. Let's have sort of a torso crunch there, which is good. Ball joints at the hips, swivels at the thighs, double joints at the door, oh, single joint, but a nice, nice angle there. You don't need any more than that. And uh, the, the ankle articulation as well, which is really nice. Yeah, it's definitely uh, just, just having this figure in hand now with, with Echo. It's, it's wanted me to go back and watch their sort of story through the Clone Wars again. From yeah, they from their rookies days up to you know the Citadel, and you know it's, there was a question put up on on online recently, like a bit of a fan poll, um, asked which which clone had the more tragic death, and I sort of stuck with fives, um, is the you know, these two being complete, you know, brothers in arms, basically, these were a quintessential pair of, of clone troopers. They went through everything together. And I guess the tragedy of Fives is that he died thinking that Echo was was dead too, when in fact he was he was very much still alive. Wasn't in greater shape, but he was still alive. Um, and that was before he joined joined the, the Bad Batch, Clone Force 99. Of course, we do have a different version of Echo as well. We have two different versions of Echo now. We've got each of them, three different versions of, of Echo. <laughs> We've got this one. Um, and we have both versions of his appearance in the Bad Batch, so. So yeah, the two together, fives here on the left, Echo on the right. Really, really nice to have these two together. Love, just love looking at them. Love to hear your thoughts. Who else do you want to see in the Black Series? Officially, <laughs> we all do. We all know that the um, that seller on uh, AliExpress is doing quite a lot of very, very cool customs. You know, we've got Tup, Dogma, um, Hard Case. I think, uh, yeah, there's some there's some cool ones. But which which of them would you love to see? You know, in legit Hasbro Black Series. Because uh, honestly, the pressure's on for them to get there, especially when they're doing half troopers and stuff like that. So Hasbro, you've got the work to do. Just going to do it. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for more videos to come very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.